Singularities are when the robot loses a degree of freedom. The joint axes can align and lock. Like in the picture that you see here, the theta four and theta six joints are lined up together. So no matter if one of them turns one way, the other one can turn the other way and it can still reach the same point. There's affinity solutions to that inverse kinematics problem. Also in a singularity, certain motion directions are impossible. So like this one, it can't move in the vertical direction. It can only move side to side when at this particular position, rotating around its vertical axis. A bounded end effector velocity goes to infinity joint velocities at a singularity. And a bounded joint torque goes to unbounded end effector forces and torque. A degree of freedom is lost and there are infinity possible joint configurations for that specific pose of the tip. In three dimensions, singularities occur when the joint axes align and there's infinity solutions to the inverse kinematics problem. So in this six axis robot shown, if axis one, axis four, and or axis six all line up, it'll be a singularity. Click on the link to see the video. In two dimensions, robot singularities occur when the joint axes lock out. So in that situation, for example, it would be like a two link robot that suddenly becomes like a one link robot because the joint in the middle is all stretched out. And that has only one solution to the inverse kinematics problem. There are two methods to find singularities. Method one is inspection. That's basically look at the robot, write down the answer. You can just kind of observe and visualize what would be a singularity for that robot. Method two is calculation. You write the forward kinematics equations, take the derivative get velocity, find the Jacobian, set its determinant equal to zero and solve for the joint positions that would make it equal to zero. And that's where the singularities are. At a singularity, the Jacobian rank drops. So the rank of J becomes less than the minimum of six or the number of joints. And the determinant of the Jacobian then goes to be zero because either a row or a column becomes zero or a row or a column is a linear multiple of another row or column. You can also split it into joint sing specific singularities. For a two by two matrix, you can see this is how the determinant would be calculated. So if you set that equal to zero, you can solve for the joint positions. In a six degree of freedom robot with a three axis intersecting wrist, you can actually split the singularities between arm and wrist. So the singularities would occur when the three by three matrix JV for the arm equals zero or J omega for the wrist equals zero. Examples are here. So the arm singularity would happen when the point of the wrist that's O4 is directly over the base of the robot. In that situation, then the robot can move up and down and it can twirl, but the, it can't move in the horizontal plane. And at the wrist singularity, it can spin around the vertical axis, but it can't move in the other directions when theta five is locked out. So this is shows how the wrist singularity would be. In the singular solution, you can tell that for a given tip position, there are infinity solutions to what theta four and theta six could be. They just have to be opposites of each other. And then, in the, but in the non-singular situation, then there is only one set of solutions that would get to that specific pose. In here, um, like in the singular case, the robot could only spin around that longitudinal axis. In the non-singular configuration, it can move in many different directions. Manipulability is a measure of, of closeness to singularity that a robot is at. So usually, mu, the manipulability, is the determinant of the Jacobian. So if mu equals zero, then that is a singularity. Uh, but the further away it is from zero, then the more control the robot has over its tip pose. So you can see illustrated in the picture, then 
when the manipulability is zero, the ellipsoid of its possible motion is really skinny. But then in the middle, when manipulability is a lot higher than zero, it can move in lots of different directions.